Hi, this is Jay, the owner of Ocean Views Real Estate Incorporated, a real estate brokerage in the Cape Fear Realtor Association and found on Google Business uh, Directory. We're going to look at Brunswick Forest today and just compare 2022 to 2023 and size it up from the perspective of a buyer and a seller. Back when we were uh, selling homes in the spring of 2022, it was intense, it was crazy, it was surreal, it was no fun uh, in the buyer side of the coin. And then you had the seller side of the coin where I would tell people in a listing appointment, well, the comps on your home is we come up with the most ridiculous price we can think of, and that's your listing price. And that's how I listed homes in the spring and summer. So let's look at Brunswick Forest and figure out where uh, the neighborhood is at now and see some of the striking differences in the market from the spring versus the winter of 2023. So over here, as I was saying, I'm just going to go to the Brunswick Forest page of the website. Lots of good market data here and insights and uh, all the listings are down here including uh, homes that are under contract and recently sold listings to really give you perspective on the Brunswick Forest homes for sale market and uh, if we want we can also include the map view with it and sort of uh, peek around on the map where we would rather be but anyway uh, first thing we're going to look at are the uh, days on market uh, I went back to uh, some of the homes that were listed in April and uh, real quick you got April and March homes here that were listed <clears throat> and I'm going to compare them to uh, right now and uh, so real quick I'm going to flip over to a different uh, screen these were listed in April of 2022 and the view that I'm going to switch to is going to instead show us the days on the market and as you can see here those varied from uh, uh, 0, 0, 2, 2, 19, 4 and another good old-fashioned 0 so things were selling in 0 to 2 days for the most part in Brunswick Forest in the spring of 2022 and it is uh, very challenging to work in that kind of environment, I can assure you. It's like uh, throwing spaghetti against the wall in some respects. So now let's look at Brunswick Forest today. Let's look at some homes that are uh, active or that have uh, recently been listed. Just a minute. All right, so now we're uh, in the winter of homes that were recently listed and you can see from here these are listed in November okay so is the market the same now as it was in the spring of, uh, of 2022 I'm going to switch the view to uh, days on market and see where we're at and instead of 0 and 2 and 0 and 4 we have uh, this instead which is a, a huge difference 17, 7, 35, 32, 44 okay and a two right here so these uh, homes are now essentially many of them are being uh, on the market ten times longer so we're going from three-day listings to a month-long listing which just changes everything when you're on the list side and the buy side you know especially on the buy side there's a chance now to make lower offers and to tell them uh, listen, the, the, the volume, the amount of homes is increasing and there's been a change in the market. You justify a lower price and see what you can do. On the list side though, you know, the reality is uh, the issue is have prices gone down. Sure, it's taking longer to sell home, but have the values gone down. So let's look at that issue as well. I have here uh, a sold from uh, the spring 586 2500 square feet okay and then recently you have a closing for 598 and 600 same square footage same year built 2017 2018 2019 so I've got the exact same houses here from the spring versus now 
And did the prices go down? No. They actually went up 1% to 2% again. So the values are holding strong in Brunswick Forest. But if you're on the buyer side, maybe you can try and change that. It's not going to be easy, though, if they have a good listing agent that can just tell them, sit put, someone's going to come to the right spot for us. Now, does that mean the prices are going to stay? No. But my gut tells me they're pretty solid. I doubt they would correct more than 3%, for example. But they may even go up another percent or two. So that's what's going on there. I think that's the end of this video. Okay, yeah. Uh, but that's what we see is days on market has gone up a lot in Leland, but home values have not gone down. In fact, they've gone up some more since the spring. Well, you see, look, you see that at Mallory Creek Plantation, for example. Homes that were 350 are now 370, and over at Brunswick Forest, homes that were 580 are now 590 and 600. So it's a very strong market in Leland. It's completely still a seller's market. It just takes longer to sell a home than it used to. Again, I look forward to working with you, whether you're buying or selling around here. And I'm Jay with Ocean Views Real Estate Incorporated based out of Leland.